Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming to the Waitley School Committee meeting. Um, the first um, order of business is to review and approve the minutes. So moved from April 5th. All in favor, or second. I second. All in favor. Aye. Okay, next up is Patty. Um, so I did email you your financial report and you have nine warrants to sign tonight for forty thousand eight oh two and twenty three cents. Okay. Uh, and that's all I have to report. Um, next, um, well, actually, I don't know if you want to do this now or when we get to the. It's not. On, it didn't. I don't know why it's not on the agenda. But we presented in April to you the cafeteria team leader position. Um, with the salary scale and mm -hmm. we said we would bring it to vote. I don't know why it didn't get on the agenda okay. So I can hand these out and we could if you want to vote them tonight. We could or you can postpone it to um, June that's up to you, but I'll hand them okay. out. This is the one at the joint meeting. Yes, yeah, that uh, Mary Did you want one? No. I, I pretty much know it, but thank you for that. Okay. And attached to it would be the is the salary scale. I saw it. Yeah, it was, it was on our frontiers agenda. So these are the same for all yeah, the schools, yeah, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. this would be the same for all the schools. Are you okay voting it tonight? Do you want to do it more? It's um, not on the agenda. Then we shouldn't vote it. We shouldn't vote it. Okay, we so I guess we'll table it for next meeting. Okay, so it's been handed out. So I'll okay. send out an email right now to tell her that it's got to be on for a vote. Thank you. Okay. So um, nothing on the financials to highlight. Mm -hmm. Um, I just okay. made that. I just. I'm just. Um, I may uh, let you know in the email that we're over in our um, school committee budget. Mm -hmm. um, right. So we're gonna. I'm just watching it um, with Pete to make sure that we, you know we have a an offset. Okay. And in uh, next month's report, um, we'll be able. I'll be able to tell you whether or not we have um, any money to do any summer projects. So okay. we'll have a more detailed analysis at that point. Okay. Uh, one of the things I have been doing with the other schools, uh, because sometimes Mr. We're, we load up Mr. Lesko with all these projects, is just taking the money from using the payroll from school choice and putting it on the budget so then the money is in school choice mm -hmm. so that we can do the project during the year if we don't have time. Because if we encumber it, then Bob's going to get all that work done by August and sometimes it's becoming um really difficult for him to do that yeah. so if we take them if we take the salaries in school choice and put them in here then we have the money in school choice when bob has the time to do the project and you approve the project so if you'd like me to do that i can do that so that's not encumbering the money that's it, it'd be switching funding sources yes to zero, funding sources. so that we would zero okay. down our general budget our, yeah. our town budget didn't we do like the extra money last year didn't we do a couple classrooms with we did, and uh, we also did the roof of the shed or gar slash garage. garage, and there was one other project we did. Actually, the first time I looked at it, I saw it tonight, and I said, it looks really, yeah. instead of things growing on it, it looks pretty good. And then there was the floors. We did a couple something. floors, yeah. yeah. Well, I know that we're still going to get air conditioning in the closet. That's coming, yes. That's coming. And we did get the clocks done and the phones um, I don't know about that. Well, we have a list of the capital projects, right. which yeah. is great. So I think we'll want to reference that to next meeting to think about what other projects might get done on this Okay. So I'm, I'll just put that down. So we'll be prepared. Thank you. So unless anybody mm -hmm. else has any other questions, I, that's all I that's have. That's all you have? Okay. Um, so public comment. Do we have anyone in the public that would like to make a comment tonight? Okay, okay. great. Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to join us? Yeah, you can come sit at the right table here. with us if you'd like. And you can be on TV. <laughs> Kathy, are you sure? Oh, she's my speaker. That's fine. <laughs>
Hello. Hi. I'm Julie Sibley. I work here in the Wakeley Cafeteria. I'm a part-time assistant. Mm -hmm. um, I came to actually address the school committee meeting about trying to help us get hours back that we lost. Um, we did actually have a meeting with Dr. Carrie and Patty today and our boss, Mary DeLusa. Mm -hmm. um, and so we are working on trying to get some hours back. Um, I did gain an hour back, which is helpful. So I, I appreciate Patty and Dr. Carrie and, and Mary mm -hmm. um, DeLusa, our boss, for trying to assist us and, and talking to us today about it. Um, just to quickly touch base, um, for Kathy and I, we love, sorry, we love working here. Mm -hmm. And we do it for the students. Um, but losing the hours to me was really hard. Um, I have family to support. Um, um, sorry. Um, hours have always been an issue, um, which I know I talked to Patty and, and Dr. Carey and, and Mary about. Um, 1.30 um, time for to have us both scheduled to just doesn't work. Um, we're never able to get out at 1.30. I know we're going to work with Mary to try to figure out what we're doing differently compared to some other schools mm -hmm. um, and, and see where we can try to adjust a little bit and try to help that situation. Um, so hopefully we can maybe work some hours or try to figure out that situation and, and what we're doing that we could probably speed up the situation a little bit or help us focus on where we could save some hours or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, um, let's see. Uh, uh, I'm just quickly looking at my notes, so I apologize. Um, one of the things is I know with Kathy, um, I'm coming in and there's only 10 minutes before we start serving. So there's times that Kathy's not even getting a break. Mm -hmm. um, she's working up until we until I I come in the door and we start serving. So there's there's times that she's not even sitting down or being able to leave the kitchen. It what depends time on the does meal. She, come in? Uh, she comes in at yeah. six seven o'clock. Um, so she's some. It depends on the meal and what she's prepping. There's some days, as I said, that she's not even out of the kitchen to even use the restroom. Um, so. Um, and so from the time I come in, I, I collect the payments, I go to the register, I take some quick temperatures and I'm, and then we start serving. So I'm doing the register. I go straight to the dish room. I do the dish room and then we pretty much, depending on the meal or what we're doing, we pretty much get that done. The next group of kids come in, I do the register, I'm back to the dish room mm -hmm. and I do that until 1:45 or two o'clock, depending on on the day depending on how much cleanup there is and how much you know what the meal is and then i'm out the door because i go to my second job and i drive bus <laughs> um so i'm out the door between 1 45 and 2 o'clock mm -hmm. and that just seems to be the average um julie what time do you come in i come in so i was coming in at 11 30. we just changed it they just gave me an hour back mm -hmm. starting today mm -hmm. so now i'm going to come in at 10 45 and i'm going to work until 1 45. Um, so hopefully I'll be getting out a little bit um, more on time mm -hmm. to what I'm working. Um, as and I said, Kathy and I Kathy just, right, yes, and so <laughs> Kathy will be break, able to have right. a, a little bit of a chance to go away, and I can help her a little bit more. Um, I can take a little bit of the load off of her. Um, and I've said it since the beginning of the school year, with only giving me 10 minutes, I'm not helping her anymore. I'm not, she's doing this all on her own. She's gonna get burnt out. I can't survive on two hours a day. Mm -hmm. I actually think, goodness, that my other boss was able to give me more hours driving bus to make up the difference. Um, so yours is two hours a day? I was two hours a day, now I just got back another hour. Three. So that's three hours a day. And what were you before the changes? Um, so before the changes, depending on the day, I was 17 hours a week. Um, and so depending on the day, I was either four hours or like three and a half hours. It depended on the day. Um, and I know that when we started the beginning of the year, um, because Debbie did our timesheets, it was never documented that we worked past 1.30. And so unfortunately, that hindered us when we made these, made these changes um, for the beginning of the school year. Um, 
because it was never documented that we worked past 1.30. So Kathy and I donated tons so of hours and tons for of- for the time that you were working Correct, after. neither one of us were paid for those four years that we, and we just basically donated our time to make sure our kitchen is clean. We take pride mm -hmm. in our kitchen. I can't walk away from a dirty dish room mm -hmm. and leave it for Kathy to walk into the next day. It's mm -hmm. just, and that's just gonna put her behind. That's not fair to do. Mm -hmm. um, so we always stayed. We always donated our time. We stayed, um, as I said, Debbie did the payroll. So, and she always told us we were not allowed to work. We weren't allowed to document that time. She said, you get paid until 1.30, that's it. If we had known that we could put that down or we, we should be documenting that time, we would have. Mm -hmm. um, but we just, we didn't. Um, so we, we both, we've both lost money in the last, in four years. Um, and I figured it out and it's a pretty big chunk of change that I, that I've lost, that I worked for free. Um, I, this year, um, the schedule, the way that lunches and recess worked, um, the kids were getting out at, today, this year they're getting out of the cafeteria, lunches are supposed to be done about 1250. So that gives us a little more time. Now they're pushing it back next year that the lunches will be done at one. The last lunch will be done at one. So that gives us a half an hour to clean up. I do know that we talked to Mayor DeLusa um, and she said she will speak to Mr. Um, Christopher again about trying to see if we can shift that time because a half an hour isn't enough, a, enough time. Mm -hmm. um, and this is from the teachers. They all wrote up a letter in support of trying to support us which we appreciate, some of the teachers are here. Uh, we appreciate them um, supporting us and backing us and trying to get our hours back. Um, so it, we're, as I said, we love the school. We do it for the children. Um, and we just, we need to take into consideration. We hope that we can get the hours back. Um, and I appreciate the hour that they gave me back. That will help mm -hmm. and hopefully we can figure that out. But unfortunately i have a family you know i have to support as well and um i know kathy did not get any hours back um how many did you lose kathy i lost a half hour a day but that's not the point yeah i couldn't use it at the end of the day at least 15 more minutes for the paperwork but so you know now gotta work just like the other schools they're all getting out at 1 30. But. So we just, you know, we appreciate you guys listening to us and, yeah. and trying to help us try to to fix this situation. Um, you know, as I said, we do this for the students and we love the students. We love the staff. We love the school. Yeah. But, you know, I have a family to support, too. So I know the kids love you guys, too. Yeah, yeah so. I hear it. <laughs> And we can't really get into a discussion now because it's public comment, but yeah. we really appreciate you yeah, coming appreciate and sharing it. your Thank thoughts. You. And I do want to echo uh, Maureen's comments about how wonderful you Thank guys you. are in the cafeteria. We really Thank value. You. If I could just piggyback on that, we're here in support of Happy and Julie, and we're happy to have signed that letter. We wholeheartedly believe in everything that's on there. I don't honestly know how they do what they do and the amount of time they have. And I just wonder when the hours got cut if the fact that we now have a full day preschool and this new card says if those were factored into that because they are time consuming. The new what? The new card system in terms oh, of, yeah. you know, it's swiping the cards and all that because I know that does take a lot. They're supposed to save time. They what? They're supposed to save time. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I can't say that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Takes but time. the other thing is, you know, I you can't put a price on good customer service. And these two ladies are top notch. The, the children they know they care. They go out of their care. way to make the kindergartners yeah. and everybody feel welcome and they don't, they make them feel safe right. and not rushed. And, and kindergartners don't always uh, do things quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and they're doing preschool now. Yeah. Right. And then so. the gluten free kids, I gotta take care of them too. Mm -hmm. And that's like three to four kids. So it goes doesn't may seem like well, that's it, but yeah. you gotta be safe and all that stuff with it. So it's really helpful to get the reality of the, these are essentially budget issues that um, 
you know, we're dealing with, and so this is really helpful for us to understand what the trade-offs are with the budget. And the cafeteria is a tricky spot for the budget, so yeah. we'll do our best to try and make it all work. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Okay. Any other comment? Okay. Uh, so we'll move on to new business. So, oh, Patty, we'll talk about the discussion of increasing the school lunch. Okay, so we have a proposal to raise the price of the school lunch in September from 285 to 295. Mm -hmm. We have been waiting for the documentation from DESE um, on their guidance on this, but they have verbally told us that starting in September, we'll receive two dollars and ninety-two cents for a free lunch. We can't charge lower than what they're giving us for the free lunch. Okay. Uh, last year we were at two, they were giving us 286 and we were at 285, so on the, ma on the matrix we were okay because we were just a penny off. This is going to be a larger, we're not going to be okay, so we're going to have to push it up to 295. Mm -hmm. I got a question. Um, what's the other three elementary schools charging the same amount? Everybody's at okay. the same except for the high school. And and that's going from three to three ten at the high school. Right, and they have not had an increase since I've been here. And uh, I guess where I'm getting at is, why can't we just be all the same, all five schools? This make it either make it because I'm, I'm the portion sizes are larger at okay. the high school, mm -hmm. so it costs more to produce a high school, sense. middle school lunch. Thanks. It does seem like I knew it had to be a simple answer. I'm just saying. Why can't we just charge the same in all five schools? Because yeah. it's the I lunch know. is different. Bigger boys, bigger, bigger girls, portions. yeah, bigger portions. And um, I, I don't know if this is possible, but would it, could we raise it to three in an effort to try and cover more costs, or and also to make it a little easier on family well, parents? Well, <laughs> well, see, make a, a, another nickel. I, I guess I. I you can make it whatever you want. You mm -hmm. can. Uh, we were just go we're going for the two ninety five to be ten cents over what we'd be getting. Uh, you know, at least nine cents. That would be a buffer. Hope that would hopefully buy us it. two years. Yeah. To having to raise it again. But I mean, if you um, did did Deerfield vote the two ninety five the other night? Two ninety five. But I mean, you could go. To, that's up to you guys. You could go to three. I mean, it's at your discretion. Would, you know. But um, I, I would recommend not because no. we want to keep everybody we in the parents, here, probably. Yeah. yeah. I'll make a motion to increase the school lunch from 285 to 295 in school year 19. Right, second. Yep. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Thank you. Okay. Um, do you have the salary sheet? I do. So the other item is the salary. And we vote on this in June, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Okay. These are the salary recommendations for the non-union employees. It's a 2% raise that mirrors the uh, the increase that the CBA for the the teaching and IA staff received. It's um, six percent over three years, the same as the teaching and the IA. Does everybody staff. get the same raise, or uh, is there any discretion? As well, how different people. There's get? one little change. Um, the with the, with the adoption of the cafeteria team leader position, the person that's in the position here would not get a raise because she's already at the top of the scale. So she would remain the same. So that's the one difference on the Whaley page. Mm -hmm. And we looked at this um, with other school districts in our area mm -hmm. um, and that, that had to be the top step. Yeah. So, so if you're at the top step, you don't get the... Well, normally you would, but because we were saying we were going to make this retro back to January and she's already there, and then they would, we wouldn't have asked for a recommendation in June because we were going to make it retro back to January. She still gets her 2%. No, she, she doesn't. No, she oh, doesn't. she doesn't. She'd be frozen. Oh, okay. But what happens next year? She'd get whatever percentage. We would then... Okay. 
because but she's at the amount that the group is getting that we had to set the top step at. So is there any way to give her some sort of other compensation? Well, she, I believe she's been here long enough to get her longevity bonus. Uh -huh. And we haven't passed. Did we pass that? Or? You don't have to. That's that's in their. Um, it's in. It's in um, their pol it's in had, the policy. We have talked about mm -hmm. adding more to it, but they do have a longevity as it is, and we have wanted to extend it for employees who are here like forty years. Yeah. But uh, she wouldn't qualify, qualify for that. No. But would she qualify for? I, th I think yeah. she does. Get so it. she doesn't qualify for the change, but she qualifies for the yeah. right. So she would get some sort of extra. We had to sit. She was the highest person, and we couldn't go any. When we looked, we were, when we looked at every other school, no one's paying their their head their head people that amount uh, an hour. Mm -hmm. And we had seen that written in the report we had done that we were our salaries were pretty generous compared to the others in our area mm -hmm. for our cafeteria staff, which is one of the reasons that led to the reduction in hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, but then the idea is that everybody else gets the same. Mm -hmm. Everyone gets two percent. Yeah. So it's not like a performance-based raise or anything. It's yeah. just flat. Yeah. What did they get last year? Two. Mm -hmm. Same. Two. So it's two, two, and two, and the uh, CBA for the teachers and the IAs were one, two and a half, two and a half. Okay. So it it balances out. It's a, essentially a COLA for 2%. And this is factored into our budget for next year? Oh, yeah, she does that. Okay. Okay. So we don't need to really do anything now. This is just next month. previewing it for us. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Or? And is that the same for the that's the same for the staff, not in at this school. It is for everyone, um, and every non-union employee. Mm -hmm. So you'll see a list of when you look over on the second page, you'll see a list of uh, central office people, mm -hmm. and they get two percent as well. There's mm -hmm. one person that is getting a little bump, and that is an IT specialist, and uh, the reason is uh, because he is essentially. Um, for the, the work that he does, he, he was hired at a lower rate, and so we bumped him up to, um, to reflect his position mm -hmm. as an IT specialist. He's, he's very, so very good. So it's more of a promotion in terms of his role. Yeah. Or a correction. A correction. Equity. Equity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then the only other difference is we're working with <laughs> Janet uh, Soretico for the out-of-school time program. Um, because when she, there was a lot of confusion, if you remember last year, we gave them a one percent increase because mm. there, everybody was everywhere. So we thought we had a get step schedule set, and now if we give them a two percent, Janet can't is saying that she can't afford a two percent raise and a step. So now we're going back to the drawing board again for out of school time to set up to say maybe you're on step one for years one, two, and three, and then you step four, five, and six uh, to the next step. Because she says if we give them 2% plus the step, she's gonna be paying out more than that she will be bringing in. So we're working on reworking that. Okay. But that doesn't really hit our budget. No, That's it's, really it's a self-funded budget, right? Mm -hmm. Budget, okay. So the policies? So these policies we've worked on in policy committee, and so we're just listing them for you. And you have a list of each one, and you'll see if it's added, it's added in red, and it could be a very minor addition, mm -hmm. such as adding the words pregnancy or pregnancy-related conditions. If we're taking something out, you'll see that we it's striped out. So you'll see here, handicap. We struck handicap out and put disability. There's two um, two policies that I need to go back to the committee out to talk about, and one is school choice. I just need to take out a qualifier of two, and you'll see it of two two lotteries. We're going to do we're, we're going to do one, and 
Um, the other piece was uh, in the network, social network use, uh, IT use, and it states that the principal will be checking uh, to see if teachers are, go are publishing on sites that are not okay, and we don't have any way of doing that. We wouldn't do it anyway. So I, I, I'm stri striking that out. So I need to either get the community together for a real quick, but it would be great if we could do it and, and get that one. We spent a lot of Tuesday nights doing this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lots. There's a lot of them, but they're simple. Most yeah. of them are very simple. So the ones that are on the agenda were from Donna's first email. Yeah. Then there were two more emails. <laughs> mm -hmm. And those are the ones that we did after the first email. So we're not gonna discuss those until next month? Those will, um, those are yours as well for first read. They go with this pile, and so you vote on them all in June. Okay, yeah. the ones that are listed plus the ones. Plus, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The two that The ones are added today, I think they were added today. Yeah, there yeah. was something else today, but I'm talking about the other day. Yeah. yeah, there were two yeah. emails. I wrote, I forget so those will plus. come. And it, once you look at them and really look at them, you'll see it. It's she's made it pretty crystal clear what exactly we're doing, and they're just for the um, liability of the district and to do to do the right thing and change uh, to upkeep with the laws. Verbiage has changed and different pieces, but you'll see where we strike out the words or we add the words, and it's pretty simple. The only two again that. Um, we may or may not vote on. I'd like to bring them forward to the next meeting. Um, I'd like to bring them forward and have the, the people vote or the school committees vote with striking out those words. Okay. So, oh, how precious. So we'll be voting on all the policies next meeting. Next meeting, essentially. Okay. Thank you so much. Is this the end of the policy? That's work? it. Has the committee that is it. finished? Yeah, well, thank they you to the hard. committee for well, doing all these work. They worked really hard. Had I known, I probably would have started sooner, but there were a lot of questions and then a lot of holdovers. Okay. I needed to get information, I needed to come back, and then we needed to relook at that. But it worked out really well. So if we have questions or comments, how do we You could do send that? them to me alone because we don't want to work in um, open meeting. We don't want to violate that. And then that discussion would come up when we oh, decide I mean, to vote. Oh, I was talking about the policies. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And, and then that discussion would come up when we meet um, next month to discuss the policies. When we, Maureen had a question, and this is, you know, this is the answer. But we need to either vote on, we have to vote on them next time, so yeah. mm -hmm. there isn't really opportunity to discuss them, right? Well, if you don't want to vote on them, you don't have to. If there's a particular one you that right. we need to question more so, mm -hmm. even though four of the schools are voting on it, we can still bring it up. There was a, um, a representative from each school committee on this committee that we worked on. Mm -hmm. So essentially, I think you could even ask Bob. If you have mm -hmm. a question about one, you could ask Bob. And But I don't think you'll have a question. I, mm -hmm. I think they're really... Um, I always have questions. Yeah. But there's different in questions to clarify yeah. Yeah. and right. questions right. to make changes. Yeah. Right. 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 So mm -hmm. you might have a lot of questions that you just need to understand. What Probably the majority but of them are, would be that. And the hope yeah. is that the committees were able to rework the policies in a way that worked for everybody. Yeah. But if there They're is an issue you want to bring up. We didn't come up with, we, yeah. these aren't original thoughts. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> I just, I, by the some, of them are, some of them are brand new from MASC. And some of them we had from we had other, our language, and then they had theirs, and we looked at them. And the only thing they did, they added number six to our list over here, and it was a lot just extra language for the times. Even though we approved them, some of these only two years ago, things yeah, have changed in two years and stuff. So, well, it's good for us all to be very aware of these policies. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. We should ask questions if we have them. And mm -hmm, if something comes up, then we can revisit it at the next meeting. Mm -hmm. Just I used to do stuff like this in my job, so I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a calling. I see who's going to be on the policy committee next. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Okay, so we voted for the lunch. Pete is usually the one to do the capital project, mm -hmm. so he's not here to update us, but if that, you're you saying that that cabinet is ready, <laughs> that shouldn't be, I want to know about that. We'll find mm -hmm. out, I guess. Yeah. Um, I just want to thank the town and the town meeting for approving our budget one more time mm -hmm. and for supporting everything that goes on here at Wheatley Elementary. And I also wanted to appreciate the teachers for the week because we should appreciate them all year, but um, they do a great job. It's and teacher appreciation. It is teacher appreciation week here at Wheatley Elementary. Mm -hmm. So I just want to publicly do that. Um, and I think that's all I had. I don't have any. Clapper didn't have anything. Do you have anything? No, we didn't have a meeting. I think there's one later this month. Right now they're doing the evaluation of the director. Mm -hmm. yeah, I haven't done that yet. It's a little daunting. <laughs> Pete's not here. Pete's not here, um, so we'll get an update from him hopefully next meeting. But I also just wanted to share that I'm going to ask him to give us an update on early release for next meeting for next year. I'm curious. We've been talking to a lot of parents. We're eager to have sort of more of a plan as to what the early release activities are going to be for the children when they stay at the school after and try and understand that more ahead of time. Yeah, there were programs that they would sign up for and it'd be for so many weeks, but that seems to stop um, since the hol since like the Christmas holidays. I don't think they've had anything. And so just to see what the plan is for We wanted year. to preempt it for next year and try and kind of get that organized ahead of time so we can, people, families can know what's going on and teachers and everybody. Okay, and then, yeah, so that leaves me, and a couple of things. The first thing, um, I, I would like to tender my resignation, and I'd like to thank you all for the opportunity and um, for welcoming me into the community uh, as of June 30th. I think we need to so we need to make a vote, make a vote mm -hmm. as a committee. I to do accept her resignation. For June thirtieth of this year. Second. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Thank you. Have fun Sorry. in your endeavors. <laughs> Thank you for all you've done yes. for you. the school. Um, okay. Uh, so also too in our work with the policy committee, the policy committee asked that I kind of do an illustration or a chart of all the special ed programs, the uh, specialized programs, not really special ed, but specialized programs that we have within the district. And so this is the, uh, what we came up with, what, this is what we offer. These are our different schools. The only school that really doesn't have um, <laughs> is Waitley. And, um, but, you can see where the, the school is, what the program's called, and what the demographic is, and then the services they provide. It's kind of abstract if you don't know. We talk about this program or that program or where we're putting, you know, students are being um, transferred to, or for instance, Waitley has a couple of students that are tuitioned into uh, another school and another program. And so this will give you, as a resource, this will give you the information about where they're going and why. Yeah, this is something we talked about a little bit during the policy mm -hmm. committee. I had no idea mm -hmm. where That's a good idea. It's helpful uh, that, you know, the WINGS program. I knew it was in Conway, but what was entailed in Deerfield and, and Sunderland. And, and, of course, at Frontier, they have many... Many things up to 22 years old for some of these people. In, in the parentheses are the number of students that are served in those programs. This was also um, Karen Ferrandino, the special ed director, and mm -hmm. Kim McCarthy, the early childhood uh, director, coordinator, worked with me on that mm -hmm. uh, so that I had their input as well. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, thank you. So is that it? For your report, you said that's it. That's it. Okay. So the next thing is we're going to go into executive session, which we will 
Mass General Law C 38 S1181 to discuss complaints or charge against so, a public employee. Okay. But the, the other members aren't here that we're going to participate. So I think we'll, those of us that are going to participate can wait, but everybody else can leave and we'll just adjourn. The only reason we'll come back is to adjourn the meeting.